The earpiece in a total different league. So 9,700. 200,000, so that's a 6702. Both under list watches. You said I can't tell you prices, you've just got to pick. We would allow nine. So this is the 40 mil, this is a 2020. This is a new reference. Brother's treating him to a watch for his birthday. My brother treats me to Greg's. This is the grey, the panda that you wanted to look at as well. So this, this is pre-refurb, so if you want to buy it, I'll have it refurb for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been looking at both the panda and, and this one for probably since 2019. And now obviously it's... The, the prices have come yeah. down. In my opinion, the earpiece in a total different lead to... The, the panda is obviously probably the hardest sports model to get in Rolex, but mm -hmm. it's it's still a mass-produced brand Yeah, where AP make far less watches. Is this, is this 2019? This is 2019 on a card, yeah, so it might be even 2020, 2019 or 2020. Full set, everything with it. This is a white dial, but this is an older one. This is a 15400, this one. It's not on the site yet. What, what would that be at? It's probably gonna be similar money to what I've said that watch is gonna be. Mm. That's what it would need to be, because we took that in a, in a part exchange. This is a great deal. I, I, I've done a good part exchange with this one. Um, oh, is that why you and can I've got quite a few. Is that why you can give me that good price? 28 grand, yeah. 28? Mm -hmm. what, what would you be looking at for the the Ghost on the Oysterflex? Have you got any of those in? This one. Oh, you're wearing it? Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even notice yeah. it on you. I have two. I have a meteorite as well in Rose if you want to look at that. Is this like third, what, 33, 33? I think it's around 33k. Yeah. Uh, but I have one which is less. These are. This is a new reference. This is a new reference. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the new references. Yeah, they've got, they've got like a thinner chronograph, don't they? Yeah, and also they have the the metal around the yeah the bezel as opposed to a full ceramic bezel. Can I show you the watch that I brought with me? Sure. Did you buy that watch from us originally? No. No, I got a back girl from you. Right. Um, as a date So you do a, just a straight Partex. Yeah, whatever you want, you can. We can take that as part exchange, that's no problem. So would that be looking at them with a part X for each of these? So the the grey dial, we would allow nine. We would allow nine regardless on whichever watch you chose. So, so that was 28 and the Daytona is 22,950, so it's online. Yeah. So I'd be in at 19 for the yeah. AP. Would you do 27 on that? No. No. No, because it's going to cost us to have it minted. Oh, really? Perfect, yeah, yeah. It's not cheap. There's only one place where I would send it. So 28 flat. 28 flat, but Best. refurbed. Yeah. Let's do the, let's do the AP. AP, cool, yeah. no problem. Okay, so I have the new Air King. Tudor Chrono. So 9,700. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the Tudor wasn't too bad, was it, with the scratches? No, it's fine. Yeah, I thought it was deep scratches. Isn't it? It's all right. As long as the glass and the bezel aren't damaged, yeah. then it's, it'll the rest polish out the same, yeah. yeah. You see some watches that have been worn once in the last 20 years, and then you'll see watches that have been worn every single day for the last 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> Had a guy this morning that drove from Birmingham to sell us three watches. The first watch is a 126-900 Rolex Air King. 2023. This is a watch that we buy for less than the list price. We consign it for around list price and we typically sell it for around the £7,000 mark. The second watch is Tudor Black Bay Chrono. They make this watch in black and white. We sell it for probably around £500 less than the list price again. They're very popular, one of probably the most sought after Tudor models. Third watch, Tudor Black Bay 58, blue bezel and the blue dial. Nice combination and again, a watch that we sell for significantly under the list price. So we have quite a good selection of Tudors at the moment, all in new condition, all considerably less than the list price. Right, Harry, this fella here doesn't know what he's getting, but he's got to choose a watch for a special present, I believe, isn't it? It is indeed. So he's actually got carte blanche to choose anyone he wants. So we've just got some Hublets out because I believe he likes Hublets. Is Hublet the official oh, Swiss Hublet. pronunciation? Hublet, 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 So I'll just pull them all out so you can have a look. How do you say it properly then, Harry? I would go with Hublot. 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 This one, does this an aftermarket bezel on No, this? they're all original bezels. But you could you could get, how much is it just for the bit? If I wanted to change that at some point, could I do it? 
It'd be very difficult to find yeah. the bezel, to be honest. How much is it? Is it? He said, I can't tell you prices, you've just got to pick. You know, is I it? like the bling one, but is it too It's not too bling. No. I know it's bling, but it's not too bling. Yeah, well, to be honest, this is one I've always and that, liked. That's actually factory as well. It's not aftermarket. It's factory diamonds on that one. This is one I've always looked at, the one I've liked. There's very few of them available in the market. I mean, I know everybody say, oh, who blow, it's not a lot. But I say, I don't look at it as an investment anyway. So yeah, I like it. I'm not really into the Rolex. So Harry's brother's treating him to a watch for his birthday. Yeah. My brother treats me to Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere between them two. So he won't tell us the price. If it's like crazy amount of difference, I'll just get out. It's not a crazy amount of difference. No. Right. Happy? Yeah, happy, happy, man. Cheers. There you go. I will speak to him and then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. He'll have our blood off for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>
If you want the root beer, it's a 2022, you can have it for 15,500. The Milgauss has gone online for 7,950. It's a 40 mil, 2009. If you want the Milgauss, you can have it for 6,750. Done it. And by the way, I would just like to thank everybody and wish everybody a very, very, very Merry Christmas. We appreciate all of our customers who's bought off us, all of our YouTube, subscribers and all of the people that watch our YouTube. If you could still like and subscribe, it'll be great. And I wish you all a very, very, very Merry Christmas from Watch Trader. All the best. I'll show you the new Aquanaut. We've just got the new blue one. I've got a couple of texts here. So the new Aquanaut with that's the perpetual cool. calendar. That's the new release. That's a sick watch. Really, really cool. It's smaller though, but nice color scheme, isn't it? Like the dial and the strap. So you've got the jumbo. That's, That's the white gold car. Yeah. You... How much are these now? I think it's for 68,000, I want to so say. So they went 68. up to about 80, didn't yeah. they? 85. Yeah, yeah. And 57 lamb rows. That's nice. These compared to what they were two years ago. What are these now? 129 it's on for. That's 2019. It's just had a full Patek service uh, polish. Still got the and where were they? 170, 180 maybe? 210. 210 at its peak. Ladies watch. 7118 all this. Yeah, they're all right. This is nice. Yeah. And then that's with the factory diamonds. And then you've got the smaller one. This is the 7010 rose gold. Slightly smaller. I believe this is a 32 mil. This is a 37 mil, I want to say. This is quite cool, actually. Quite sporty, isn't it? Like rather than the, the normal leather strap. And then it's less dressy. It's a little bit more sporty. This is, I don't know if you're a fan of Richard Will. So I've got a 6702. Feel the weight of that. Did you see it? Yeah. <laughs> 30 grams. I don't know much about him, you know, I suppose. So Big money. Yeah, so I think that, well, it's on for around 200,000, so that's a 6702. Wow. And it's the Sprinter. Uh, I've got Johan Blake's here. This is the Sprinter Johan Blake. I can't even feel that. If you put it on your wrist, so that's the Velcro strap, guess how much the strap was? Good. Well, 2,000 pounds. It's not even Velcro, that's elastic. Not even elastic, elastic. Yeah, yeah, elastic, yeah, yeah. yeah sorry. Then you've got one on the rubber strap. This is the Johan Blake. It's just slightly chunkier. Feel it on your wrist a little bit more than, than that.